Hi, I've got some pretty exciting news on a new SBC that's about to be released. Hang around to find out what that is. Over the last couple of years, I've noticed a general trend in SBCs. But unfortunately, that trend hasn't always been aimed at the humble maker such as yourself. Makers usually want different features in an SBC, but at a low cost. This has been a problem for many companies because they can't always cater for everyone. For example, it would be nice to have an octa-core SOC with Mini PCIe at the same price as a Raspberry Pi. Or what if you want to be able to muck around with some real-time applications using an FPGA? What about easily upgrading from USB 3.0 to USB 4.0 or Thunderbolt, DisplayPort or HDMI 4? Well, I think I just might have the answer. Presenting my new board. The M board, as in M, yeah, finally. So what is so good about this new board? Starting from the top right, working clockwise. DC jack supporting a wide 6 to 30 volt input. USB 3.0, power switch, two USB 2.0 ports. Arduino GPIO layout. The reason for this will become apparent later. Jumpers for boot image selector and logic level converters, allowing the use of 5 volt or 3.3 volt Arduino shields. And then we have one of the best things about this board. This stackable header allows you to plug in various modules, allowing to upgrade when new technologies come along. Currently I've designed a 1050Ti graphics board with HDMI out supporting 8K at 60Hz. Later I'll be adding in Thunderbolt, SATA, USB 4.0 when it becomes available, and various Wi-Fi and Bluetooth modules. Then we have Gigabit Ethernet, a couple of buttons to mash, SD slot, then we have one half of the 8 gig DDR4 RAM, 4 port gigabit switch, and a custom symmetrical multiprocessor SOC that I've codenamed Eli. This runs the new Cortex A54 with frequency scaling up to 3 GHz. During the design of this new SOC, the chip designers were able to find space for another core, so increasing it from 8 to 9 cores. But wait, that's not all. On the flip side, we have the other half of the 8 gig DDR4 RAM. And finally, a new embedded system SOC from Intel. This is an upgrade on their previous SOC, with an additional two segment registers, a completely flat memory model, and several new assembler instructions, for example BTR, BTC, and CWDE. This makes coding a whole lot easier. You can dynamically switch GPIOs onto the Arduino pinouts from either SOC, which means that a simple daughter board will make the MM board compatible with any SBC GPIO header on the market. I've already sent the Arbian guys a couple of demo units, and they've taken to it like flies on a carcass. They've already released an official Arbian image, so when you finally can get your hands on one, it'll work out of the box. And the best part? I'll be starting the MM Foundation with the same goals as the Pi Foundation. This means that I'll be able to offer the M board for the same price as the Pi. So there you have it. Stay tuned for further updates on where you'll be able to purchase it. Thanks for watching, and see you next week.